TCU baseball opens its season this weekend, but will the Toads return to Omaha? Our Brad Hardcastle has the preview. Brad? Thanks, guys. After last season's College World Series appearance, TCU baseball is ranked as high as number two in the country coming into the season. Players say they're confident the new starters can fill holes left by attrition, but it won't be easy. Here's more about who's leaving, who's returning, and how high this team ceiling truly is. The frog season ended in Omaha last year, and a big part of their success stemmed from the play of two juniors. Left fielder Boomer White had a breakout season. He led the team in batting average and was named to the All Big 12 first team. First baseman Kevin Crone's powerful bat came up big for the Frogs last year. Crone led the team with six homers and 18 doubles, but Crone has since signed with the Arizona Diamondbacks and White transferred to Texas A&M. Crone is said to be replaced by senior Jeremy Fagan. The Midland College transfer started 20 games last season. He had 15 hits and two home runs. Boomer White could also be replaced by a transfer. Junior Dane Steinhagen is said to be a front runner for the left field position. He hit 324 and scored 59 runs last season for Howard College. The Frogs also lost catcher Kyle Bodschok. Schlossnagel said it's possible that two freshmen will split catching duties this season. Hearst, Texas native Zach Plunkett and Washington Nationals 34th round selection Evan Skaug are expected to be behind the plate in 2015. The position that remains the deepest for TCU is pitcher. The Frogs will have to replace last year's ace Brandon Finnegan, but Big 12 Player of the Year Preston Morrison is expected to fill that role. And sophomore Tyler Alexander will take over Morrison's Saturday duties. As for the Sunday starting position, it's still up in the air, but Schlossnagel said he thinks junior Alex Young has a great shot at making the weekend rotation. Coming out of the bullpen is projected first-round pick Riley Farrell. The closer has a fastball that tops out at 99 miles per hour. He had a team record 15 saves, a 0.79 ERA, and struck out 40% of the batters he faced last season. The Frogs also keep their setup man Trey Teekle, who finished the season with a 2.34 ERA and a 6-1 record. Overall, the Frogs look like they could be dominant on the mound like they were last season, but replacing two of their best offensive players will be a challenge. We will have a better idea of how the frogs of the Frogs' potential when they take on Southern Illinois this weekend at Lupton Stadium. First pitch is scheduled for 6.30, 6.30 Friday night. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at TCU360 TCU Sports and TCU360.com for updates. Back to you guys at the desk.